Now, did you ever wonder why your marketing campaign isn't as profitable as it should be? Well, I actually found this calculator. It's called the ROMI, ROAS, and CPA calculator. Now, if you want this, again, going to be in the Discord, going to be in the Facebook group. Now, this is not from me, full disclaimer. It's actually from another marketing agency, Nerd Marketing. But I found this very, very useful to make a comparative analysis based on every campaign that you run per platform. So what you do is, I, again, enter the nomenclature or the title of which platform you're doing it on. So Facebook ads, Amazon ads, Bing ads, Snapchat, TikTok, etc. So once you put those numbers in, make sure you fill out this entire yellow, I think it's like yellow orange color. Make sure you fill that out and fill out all these rows and all these lines so that it will pump out the CPA. So cost per action. How much does it cost you per click, per action, per acquisition of a customer? Because you want to know this because I guarantee most marketing campaigns do not account for the discounts. They don't account for, you know, the exact rate of um, the drop off. Because again, if, you, if you've ever seen the data, right, in terms of um, Facebook ads, right, for instance, an example, the thing is with Facebook ads, right, it doesn't fully account for all the other purchases that also come in at the same time. So you have to account for all of those. So what you do is that with ROMI, understand, most people don't do this. ROMI stands for return on marketing investment. Again, it counts for every single other variable that we look at in terms of discounts, sales, uh, exclusive sales, exclusive deals. So what you do is that you input all the numbers here and then you exactly get these numbers at the bottom. So ROAS, return on ad spend, ROMI, return on marketing investment, and then the annualized ROMI. So how much you make after like a annual return of that marketing investment that you put into that ad or into that campaign. But again, our goal here is to figure out not only the exact amount that we're making, but we want to make a comparative. Like we want to know how much money we're spending uh, like on this specific campaign and how much money we're exactly spending on this other one so that we can, you know, put down details of where our money should go. Does that sort of make sense? So once you know, you know exactly how to spend your money, you know exactly where to put it. So control group example, super important for you to understand. Now, what we're doing here is a estimation. So this one is comparing aka a 20% discount versus a regular control group of what's already happening in terms of the variables. So what you do is that you input all the numbers here. Again, if you want to put a discount 25, 30, 30%, whatever it is, just make sure you put the, the title at the top. Then after that, put in the other numbers here. And then after it will spit out a number here and I'll do the same thing like the other page, but essentially um, what this page does is that it gives you estimations. It gives you a hypothesis. It gives you a idea. Again, if you haven't seen my other video on market research and how to reverse engineer market research, go check that video out. And if you have trouble doing this again, if you're a beginner, go watch my other video on cash flow. exactly why we determine all these different numbers and all these different variables. But once you get to this point, again, making a hypothesis and figuring out how well that hypothesis supports or you know, discloses the control group variable. And then over time, we can evaluate whether it's something we want to do and input into the campaign or into our, you know, ad funnel or our sales funnel, I mean. And then from there, you can figure out, hey, this is exactly what I should do. And therefore, it'll be profitable. If I do this, it's not going to be profitable, X, Y, and Z. So if you found this video useful, again, you can find this in the Discord or on the Facebook group. So make sure you're in there to get access to this thing. So if... Um, you like this video, go check out my other video, probably going to be at the corner of the screen here.